I'm about to work out about 7 a.m. Get a 15 minute workout in, in here in my garage, in our gym. And then change and get ready to head down to Anaheim. This is the fit of the day. What do we think? What do we think? You like the shoes? Fit of the day. Today I'm gonna to film only on my iPhone. So this is literally gonna be my setup for this vlog. This tripod, this phone, and then my pocket right here, I got my microphones that'll attach to my phone. And that's it. Wish me good luck. Wish me good luck. Wish me good luck. I love you. Give me a kiss, dude. Give me a kiss. I'm going to speak somewhere. The feelings that I have in my body, like I want, I, I like, I want to change people's lives. I want people to want, I want people to hear me speak and be like, fuck, that just shifted some shit inside of me. Uh, so I always feel super fired up before I go and speak, similar to like going and playing a hockey game. I'm really excited. I'm feeling that right now and I can't fucking wait. Alright, I found Oren and I found Kane, these two legends. And now we're just walking around the floor. Look who came to support. <laughs> We're about to go in. We're about to get school. <laughs> We're at the back of VidCon and we're walking over to the panel. Uh, I think they'll mic this up back here. Oh my gosh. What up everyone, I'm JT. Uh, I make business and education content and as a business, I consult brands on their social media and then I have a company called Creator X where we help brands find creators for their brand account. So essentially helping them hire somebody internally like an in-house creator. Great to be here. Good morning, good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> 3.30, it's 3.30 back on the East Coast because my watch still says that even though it's digital. Uh, hi, my name is Tim. I kind of know where I am and what's going on. I worked at a Fortune 100 company for the last 11 years, left that job last Thursday. That would be a week ago. Let's clap it up for Tim. Let's clap it up for Tim. <laughs> I'll jump in. I, I, I love what you just said about actually genuinely enjoying it because the, lo the more that you enjoy it, the longer you'll be able to do it. And if you, it, the way that I kind of like with the, the background of, of workouts and personal training is, especially when you're starting, trying to take on too much. Like think about going into the gym for the first time. If you max out your bench press or your squat and you're leaving it and you're like, wow, I, like my body is destroyed. I can't do that. I'm not, I can't show up tomorrow. You're not gonna be able to do that consistently for a long period of time. And like all, for all of us, the way that we've got to where we are is through consistency. And so when, especially when you're starting out, and when you're doing anything that's new, it's like building a habit that is sustainable and a real way to sustain it is by actually enjoying it, by like finding the little things that you enjoy within it. So what I would say is like, how can you look at the craft that you're doing and find like, make the mundane enjoyable, make the mundane something that you look forward to every day and you'll be able to do it for a long time. Wait, let me just say one more thing to add on that. I think what most people, if you're a creator and you're in this room, I think what you really want rather than going fast is to go far. Yep. And the only way to go far is for you to consistently show up. And the only way for you to consistently show up is for you to actually enjoy what you do. Otherwise you end up like, especially with platforms like TikTok and Instagram and all these ones where there's discovery and you can go fast and you can have something that clicks really quickly. You don't want that to happen. And then all of a sudden you're burning out, but now you have traction, but now you actually hate it 
because the way that you got there isn't the way that you actually enjoy. Well, you really, the reverse of that is start finding the thing that you enjoy and like putting in the work and it, go, and it happened, but now it's something that you're like, wait, I'm like able to show up every day and enjoy this. And this is my passion. And like, I'm really loving doing this. And like the metric isn't the reason, it's the actual process that is the reason. Then you're able to do that for a long period of time, which is when real business and real wealth and real opportunity happens. Yeah, far. Yeah. Uh, I just love to get a selfie quick. Dude, of course. Of course, of course. Big fan, love your stuff. Got a document for when we're... There we go. Friends in a couple years. Yeah. Love to hear that. Love Can't stuff. wait. Loving the long form. Thank you, bro. Yeah. yeah, thank you. I was watching it, watching it over breakfast. It means like a lot. the slow vibes. It's, it's whatever I need. Thank you, brother. Are you covering you? No, I put it off to the side. I know, I came off to the side. Can you hear yeah. You were amazing. Hey, JC. Yo, brother. Nice to meet you. How are you? I think I could. I'm watching your stuff for a while. Love your long form stuff. Uh, Thank you. I'm, um, you're watching long form shit too? Yeah, dude. I like dude, you're, um, I've been on the, yeah. Yeah, I'm in the, I don't know if you've heard of Creator Camp, but yeah, yeah like me, Max, I saw your videos and all of them. So Sick. Cool. You went to, you went to Creator Camp? Yeah, it was the very first one. Cool. Um, and then I've been to like base camp and stuff. Oh, sick. Yeah, yeah. I love what is your thoughts on like the, the quality versus quantity game? Because I feel like my, dude, I think long term for me, I, I yeah. really think long term it's quantity. But I think it's quantity with a quality that enough of a quality. Right. Yeah. So it's like it's got it can't be literally like 50 videos a day that took one second and are terrible. Yeah. It needs to be like something that you're that you believe that your audience will consume, mm -hmm. but like as much of that as possible. Yeah. That's my term. That's my view on it long term. Right. Do you feel like even on the YouTube space, like things are transitioning more into like a more raw, authentic? Like people want to connect with creators again. Dude, I think everything everything will ebb and flow. Like, I think it'll be like, it's super hype, like it's, it's super fast paced edits for a while and then people will crave slow and then they'll crave it for a bit and then it'll be like people, somebody will do fast paced in a different way. I think it's always ebbing and flowing. That's why for me, it's like, what's the most, what's the way I can do this the longest? What's the way that I actually can do this the longest and it feels like the most like natural to me because then that's when I can really win because if I try and do something that isn't me, that's what I was saying in there. If I try and do something that isn't me, it, like it might work for a second, but like then I'm every day needing to show up as something that isn't me and that's how you get burned out. And then you're like, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. So I think it's always like, what's the style that I feel like I really enjoy? Yeah. And like, let me just try and figure out a way to make that work. The, where you got to a point where you're like, okay, now I'm really gonna go all in. Cause there's a lot of sports people that get into social media and things like that, but like, it seems like you're elevating it to a whole new level. Are you just more disciplined or were you always focused on that? Like, I need a- When I started outlet. seeing, when I started seeing other people building like legitimate businesses through it, was when I was like, this is when I wanna go in. So it was, it, before it was like, just through connection, like wanting to like meet people and connect to people. But when I saw it like, oh, this is actually like a business for people. Yeah. That for, was the like aha moment for me to be like, now I'm, this is what I want to do. Uh, okay. Yeah. So it was like you were, did you have any interest in that or were you just all hockey? Like, from oh no, I was always interested in, in creative. Uh, I was like, I felt pigeonholed in hockey. Really? Which is why, yeah, which is why I was uh, like, I got to do something else to scratch this itch. I didn't know what it was before it was content creation. It was like, I was making music. I was doing clothing. I was, it was always like some sort of creative outlet. Yeah, yeah. And then when I saw content being like a thing for people, I was like, I got to try this. Okay. And then that became the thing. So I was already wired into you. Yeah. I'm like, probably mm -hmm. a lot of them. You mind yeah. if I get a picture with you? For sure. My, yeah, uh, of course. Of course. All right, cool. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Appreciate of course. It, Great to meet you. Yo, this is how some people are showing up. Look at this camera. Braden's got the... Uh, the vlog going okay, real serious. We're not, we're not we almost brought a steady cam. <laughs> Just finished speaking. It was great. Saw some people after, got to answer some questions. Really enjoyed it. Now I'm over at the Hyatt, which is the, the hotel that all of the creators stay at. So if you have a, um, a speaker's badge, or there's another badge too that's like an all access one. Um, you have access to the the ground floor of this hotel, which is the Hyatt. Um, most of the creators that don't live in Los Angeles um, that are speaking will stay at this hotel during this weekend. So there's just a ton of different events and activations and things that go on at this hotel. I have some friends that are over here that I just wanted to come say hi to. So I'm popping by to see what's up and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks inside.
All right, so inside these hotels, they have lounges. So YouTube had the first lounge that we went into. And within it, if you're a YouTube creator, you could get different awards, you could get different merch. Um, they're showing off different creators. You could take photos with each other. And then we went over to the Instagram lounge and the Instagram one had a similar kind of thing. People getting to hang out, meet each other, network, try out new products and meet part of the team. I'm on my way home now, finished, done. It was great. You know, it was really good to sit up there with Tim and Sophie and just be able to hear them speak about their own journey um, on a panel next to them. So just to be able to share the stage with them was really cool. I do, the thing I love about panels, the, the, oh, let me say this, the thing that I would love for more panels is for them to be longer because I feel like I get into a rhythm and I wish that a panel was like an hour and a half rather than 30 or 40 minutes because in 40 minutes I feel like you just get going because there's, there's, especially if there's multiple people, uh, you just get a couple answers in, you start getting going and then you're like, yo, now I'm like ready to like really dive into this. So um, it's another reason why I'm also excited to start doing keynotes or things that are just like solo on the stage to be able to have more time actually being able to converse with the audience. But all in all, so much fun. Got to run into so many different people after it. And I'm excited for VidCon next year to be able to meet more of you guys and to be able to hopefully be on the stage again. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Appreciate you all. I'm out. Peace.